What is a group, and why do we join them? We're all familiar with groups, but how do social psychologists define them? A group includes two or more people who interact over time and who share something in common, their goals, identity, or fate. The textbook defines a group using the second definition presented on the slide as two or more people who have joint membership in a social group. A team would be a specific type of group, and due to its uniqueness, teams sometimes operate a bit differently than groups. Note that members do not have to like one another to be considered a group. Take a moment to consider all the groups to which you belong. Your family, friend, work, or project groups. Your age, racial, gender, or religious groups. Your occupation, education, hobbies, or unique life experiences also place you in groups. You probably belong to hundreds of groups, some without even realizing it. As you know, humans are social creatures, and group membership provides many benefits. Here are some of the reasons we join groups. 1. To accomplish more than we could accomplish as individuals. This is precisely why businesses are created, to leverage the collective efforts of a group of people so they produce more than they would have if they made separate, independent contributions. 2. To fulfill a need to interact with others and belong to something greater than themselves. We'll learn more about this need in the next lecture, but humans appear to have an innate need to socialize. People who isolate themselves tend to suffer a whole host of negative psychological and physical outcomes. 3. To gain a sense of personal and social identity. Interacting with other people helps us understand ourselves, who we are as a person, and who we are relative to others. And 4. We join groups to have fun. Group activities can be relaxing and refreshing, and interacting with others is a common way of spending our free time away from work and school.